Hi everyone, welcome, welcome. Today I have my monthly manis for March to share with you. I got in so many manicures this month, it was crazy. I was doing a lot of deep cleaning, a lot of chemicals on the nails, a lot of wet nail action going on, and my nails were needing to be done almost every single day, and I just like to keep them covered, so I did get a ton of manicures in. I wore 18 manicures this month and used 24 different polishes to achieve those manicures. So let's just run right through them. This first one is a Heather's Hues from Hella Handmade Creations, October 2022. This one is called When We All Fall Asleep, Where Do We Go? Really nice tone of blue, kind of a denim color with some red hollow glitters as well as red type of shard glitters going on and some black micro hex. Made a really cute mani, really liked this one, and definitely looking into more Heather's Hughes polishes. The next one is a Sassy Sauce. This one is a super fun, super shifty polish. We have a visitor. Goobs is out running around right now. He's kind of upset. You could see by his beard that is kind of black. He's a little upset that we're moving right now. Bearded dragons really don't like change, so he is definitely coping, but this is his way to um, get out his anger. And he came over, so I figured I'd let you guys see him. But he's eager to keep running around, so let's keep going with these polishes. This one is a super shifty, um, magnetic polish. It has all kinds of flakies in there and I really loved this one. I haven't worn too many of my magnetic polishes but this manicure turned out really good and it definitely pushes me towards using more of these magnetics and this is just such a fun green polish just to even wear on its own. In extreme angles this does go to blue to purple to pink to like a golden orange color really fun polish. This is one that you can still buy from Sassy Sauce and I definitely am so glad to have it. I don't have many greens that I wear often but this one makes me want to wear it again. This next one is a Lindy Designs. This one was a Polish Neck Holiday Box exclusive. This one is called Slay All Day. It does have a bit of a fill line and I have worn it quite a few times. This one's a thermal with all kinds of beautiful circle glitters and the thermal pigment is starting to die on this one but I still really like the way that it looks and I'm really in love with those circle glitters. Since Entangle Mint got me excited about the magnetics, I decided to wear one that I had been putting off for quite some time. This is one from the Polish and Beauty Expo last year. This one is called Mew Mew What's a Mew Mew by Swamp Claws. It has those really bright kind of neon blue glitters and it is also a really shifty multi-chromatic polish. This next one is Lulu by Julep, which is a super, super pale lilac, barely purple, almost white type of polish. And I paired this one with Happy Gruyere by Lindy Designs. This was a gift with purchase around Christmas time. It is a lovely flaky polish that gives gold, silver, green, and orangish red type of glints. Really pretty. I like the way this one turned out quite a bit. This next one is definitely one of my favorite manicures of the month. It is Julep's Eliza and this one is like a cobalt navy ultramarine colored hollow and I did a white stamping design on top of this one. Now I'm eager to try that in reverse so we shall see but definitely enjoyed that. This next one gives me super Easter vibes. I wore OPI. This one does not have the name on it, but this is from the Color Hue collection, I believe. 
and it is a nice purple but it has some like glass flecks in it really small see-through flakes I paired this with Revlon's Heavenly and this can probably be built up on its own but I use it as a topper and I really like the way that this pairs with pastels. It's like a gemmy translucent glitter type of polish. So that one was another one of my favorites. I just really liked the way that that turned out. It was kind of like a candy coated mini. This next one is a beautiful coral by Julep named Harriet. And I paired this with a topper by Lindy Designs. This one was also a gift with purchase around Christmas time called Merry Christmas. And it is a assortment of gold and silver, super pretty. Um, we've got some hollow in there and we've got some reflective. So this is another excellent topper that I've really been enjoying. This next manicure was actually my least favorite of the month. And it's not that I didn't like the manicure idea, but I did a mess up. I decided to wear one of the polishes alone as the accent nail built up and I paired it with this purple polish again and I put Vanessa Molina's You Ready to Come Live? This is from Polish Pickup in February and it is a beautiful bright blue flaky and I believe it has some reflective aspects as well and the flakes shift into a purple. It's just really beautiful. And together they looked really lovely and I wish I would have done the whole hand one on top of the other, but I decided to do an accent nail of just this one alone built up. And it looked really similar, but just enough off to where it just didn't look really cohesive. It did, but didn't. I knew it was different. Most people couldn't tell it was different, but I knew and I just didn't like it. So I would definitely try to wear this mani again, but without an accent nail. And otherwise, it was really cute. It was a great idea, and I loved the way the blue paired with the purple. This next one is a Phoenix polish, and this one is called Pine Needle. It is a super green flaky bomb with some foresty colored shimmers. We've got like a gold, and on extreme angles, there is a blue shift. So this one's really fun and I definitely felt like I could wear it any time of the year. So I got around to wearing this one. The next one was my St. Patty's Day Manny. I wish that I did the clover a little bit better when I used the dotting tool. It spread a little bit, so it looks a little chunky, but the polish I really loved and it makes me really want to delve deeper into this brand. This is a Stella Chroma polish. This one is from Polish Pickup, November 2022, and this one is called Holiday Home. It is a tan with green flakies and hollow, and I really like the foresty or camo appearance of this polish. Really dig this polish. Gooby's going crazy in the blinds. Um, and I definitely want to look more into this brand because the polish itself was a really great formula and I loved the way that this looked. This next one is a Great Lakes Lacquer. This one is from the Westworld collection, which has unfortunately been retired. It was a beautiful collection. This one is called I'm Well Off My Knees and this is a Corelli with that really bright magenta shift and there is some really beautiful ultra chrome flakies in here as well. This next mani is like a cotton candy mani and I went in with a blue and a pink. The pink is SE by Olive and June and the blue is Denver by Julep. And then on top of each of these, I went in with this Sugar Crystals by LA Colors Color Craze. This is like a pink shift, kind of white crystal-y. I like it as a topper, but you could probably build it up on its own. So I put this over the pink, and then some of you might have seen this one. This was a Studio M polish, which is a Color Club sister brand. They basically have the same polishes that are renamed, and they're like half the price. 
This is found at Myers. If you know Meyer, M-E-I-J-E-R, that store carries a Studio M. This one happened to come with no brush, so I put it in an old Olive and June bottle. Now that you know the history of this polish, there is no name on here because there is two polishes by this company with the same name that are completely different polishes, so I left it nameless. The name was on here, it rubbed off, and I'm kind of glad it did because that's a little confusing. But this one is a super pretty, also glowy, shimmery, kind of crystal-like. Um, I like to use it as a topper. You can also build this one up on its own, but yeah. I used these two as the topper over these two polishes. So four polishes to make that manicure, but I had been thinking about it for a long time and I'm glad I finally executed it. The next mani, I went back to Harriet by Julep and topped it with Phoenix's Oracle Base. This is from Hella Handmade Creations, January of this year, and it's a beautiful cantaloupe peach type of base with that Aurora shimmer that I love so much. And it also has a pink shimmer. So this is a rainbow polish if I've ever seen one, and I loved the way these looked together. Definitely would wear this again. The next one was so cute. This one is North Avenue Beach by Fair Maiden. This was a Polish and Beauty Expo exclusive, and I just love this polish so much. It is like a minty greenish blue type of pastel color with rose gold or rose micro flakies. So cute. It also has a slight pink shimmer to it. It doesn't translate as well on the nails as it does in the bottle as far as the shimmer, but the polish itself is absolutely gorgeous. I love this polish so much. The next one is a Lindy Designs. This one is What's the Pointillist? And this is what I would call a matcha tea polish, where it looks like a matcha with flower petals. It is a really nice mm, sagey pastel green, if I can say that, with some blue to pink to purple type of little flakies in there. And I love this polish so much. Absolutely it's such a cute mani. The next one is another nameless polish. This is a LA Colors Color Craze. It is a purple jelly polish and for a long time it was my favorite purple polish. Absolutely still love this one, but unfortunately it is gone now. So spoiler alert, if you are watching my project polishes. It made a really cute manicure and I've done this before, just popped a sticker over it and I really loved it. And that brings us to the last mani of the month, which was a gel mani. I thought maybe if I did a gel manicure, it would last a little bit longer to get me through until we got to the new place, but I was wrong and it didn't last very long at all. Like a few days is not very good. So this one is a Abrit color gel polish. I believe this was an Amazon find that I ended up buying secondhand from Mercari when I first started getting into gels, but it is I-10. This is a pink glittery type of polish. So I did a gel manicure and that is what I ended up with. It was really cute. It just didn't last the way I thought it would. And this is everything that I wore for the month of March. A lot of really beautiful manis. I had a lot of fun this month getting in so many of them. If you enjoyed this video, let me know. Give it a like. If you would like more content like this, consider subscribing if you haven't already. I've so enjoyed having you here today and hope to see you in the next one. But until next time, thanks for hanging with me.